with our featured speaker, I want to remind everybody, Carl is going to be on at the end of the call. He's got some really important announcements to make about nine-week control freak. He's going to tee it up. He's going to get us all pumped up. And of course, he's packing Benjamin. So um, that is going to be the theme for today. But now let me introduce our speaker who started nine years ago. That may seem like a long time, but you know what? When you like what you do and you've got a system for doing it well and uh, people want to be a part of your team, you stick with it. And that is the story of our next featured speaker. She is currently a superstar diamond coach, which means she's 15 star up there, even more than that, because she's got multiple business centers. Um, in 2020, that was this year, <laughs> she, she won the CEO award, which we award every single year. It is a, 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 a leadership award pretty much. Um, she is also a member of our coach advisory board and she is a five-time elite coach. You guys give it up from Jacksonville, Florida. We've got Evie Morales. Evie, hello, hello. Let's get you unmuted too. Hi Sandy. <laughs> Thank you for having me today. I am very, very happy to have you here. Why don't we jump right in? Nine years ago, Evie, can you believe it? Yes. It's almost, it's almost 10 years, right? Next year will be 10 years? Next year will be 10 years, yeah. Like you said, when you do something that you're passionate about and you like, it doesn't feel that many years. <laughs> Why don't you, if you can tell your story to everybody here, what brought you to Beachbody nine years ago? Sure. Um, my name is Evie Morales and I am from Jacksonville, Florida. Before I became a coach, I was 20 pounds overweight. I had digestive problems, a pinched nerve in my back. I couldn't even clean my house because um, I, had sciatic, I had sciatic pain and I was totally out of shape at the age of 31. I, we took kids, Mary, <laughs> and I was working full time at a bank while my husband was serving in the military. So pretty much I had no time for myself and no desire to do something for me. Until one day I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, Evie, you gotta do something about you. You cannot let yourself go at this age. So additional to that, we had a lot of financial uh, situation. We were in debt, uh, living paycheck to paycheck and that was causing me anxiety um, due to the uncertainty because we didn't know if the bills were going to get paid on time and my way out to soothe my feelings and my emotions was to eat and because of that then the weight started uh, compounding and i started gaining a lot of weight and then i remember like during that time, I remember that my husband purchased P90X um, years prior. And the, we had the bags um, tucked in in the closet after so many moves that we did due to the military. And I decided to take it out. And I was like, I'm going to read it. I read the instructions, I read the books, and I just took action and started working out from home because I really want to feel better and, and be there for my kids and my, my husband and, and be healthy. And um, within 60 days doing P90X, I remember that I started sharing on Facebook my journey. I was like, I didn't have a group. I did not have a coach when I started, but I wanted to let the world know that I was doing something for myself. And, and I told myself, that I was going to start and finish the program. I had never, I was never a person of cons being consistent and I had to prove myself that I was gonna be able to take care of me. And I started sharing my journey and 60 days within the program, my families and friends, they started asking that what, what I was doing. And that's when I talked to my husband, I said, look, people are asking me, uh, I think I can help them. I did it by myself. I think I can, I can help them and they will, we will be able to succeed. And I remember looking at uh, a picture of a friend of mine that I was following on Facebook quietly. She didn't know. We used to go to church together in New York. 
And I remember watching her um, getting together with a group of people and they looked so excited. And she had her, uh, her profile photo on Facebook was her transformation. And she had a P90X shirt. So I immediately thought about her. And I told my husband, I know someone that did this program and we can look her up. So we went to Beachbody and looked her up by her first and last name. And we became coaches back in September, 2011. I'm so, I was drinking, I am very sorry. P90X, okay, which definitely put Beachbody on the map. But what I love about your story is you pulled it out of the closet and you wanted to do it from start to finish. You really have not changed very much in nine years. You still know that doing a program from start to finish is where you truly get the sense of accomplishment and, you, and the confidence and you can talk about it more with people. Uh, so I, I just love that story. I also wrote down that when you were not feeling well and you had a pinched nerve, you couldn't even clean the house. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh because that is the last thing I would think of with a pinched nerve is, is all the things that I can't do. I can't clean the house. <laughs> um, Evie, I want to ask you about 30 day breakaway. Okay. And I want to um, ask you about your experience. What inspired you to do the 5K? Well, to make it clear, <laughs> I stopped running nine years ago. Um, I used to run to keep to keep it, to keep up as a cardio workout, and occasionally I used to run 5K with my husband just to keep ourselves motivated. And due to knee problems, I have to stop running. So I was a little bit hesitant with this program because I really didn't want to go back to running. But as I got started, I, I really loved the combination of the strength workout, the weight training workout that Idalis added to this program. And it challenged me in so many levels where I was able to, to to see myself um, stronger, my, my upper body got stronger, uh, even my booty got firmer a little bit. <laughs> and, and I also loved how Idalis um, was training me in my ear while I was running outside. And I thought that nine years ago, I knew how to run, but honestly, I did not know how to run. I was doing it incorrectly the whole time. And now I think, and I'm like, this is the reason why I hurt my knee because I was not doing it properly. So having her guidance, uh, it was really helpful. And I was like, I can do this 5K. <laughs> and I challenged myself. And I, before I ran the 5K, I remember talking to my, my challengers and my team, um, let's do a 5K and let's do what, um, Card Dykla suggested with uh, giving the donation to Hope of the Valley. And I said, let's do this together and let's do it for, for a good cause and prove ourselves that we are able to do it. So I only didn't run it by myself, but I did it as a team, as a group. And what I liked the most, it was like, okay, let's name it the Turkey Run. And that's what we ran with that. We ran with that name, the Turkey Run. I was like, let's do it before the Turkey Day, Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, we get to do a good workout. And uh, Sandy, to be honest, I had never, if we're pivoting it a lot this day, running the 5K with my group, with the challenge group and my teammates, it was pivoting it for real because we decided to get together via Zoom. And I was literally running with my phone, holding my phone and hearing all of them, the emotions and the excitement, everyone running from different places. Uh, from, uh, there were people in New York, in Massachusetts, some people in Texas, um, some people in Puerto, Puerto Rico. And I was like, I was very motivated uh, because I was not gonna do it by myself and being able to run it virtually, all of us, it was like 40 of us that got together. It was very excited and it didn't even feel like I was running a 5k and we we were able to 
there was a time that I used to tell them, if you feel like you can run anymore, remember what Idalis always used to tell us on our ear when we were running outside. I remember she always used to say, if you cannot run, then jog. And if you cannot jog, just walk as fast as you can. And I did that, they did it. And when one of us couldn't run anymore, we were like, okay, we got, we're gonna walk right now because I can't keep running. And that's how we finish it. And it was very excited and very motivated to see everyone doing it together. I love that. And you know what you said about you didn't think you could run because of your knees? Like when you don't have good form, you know, that's where injuries happen. But if you're being told how to do it, you know, we make excuses that we can't run or we can't lift or we can't do burpees, but it's because we're in pain because we're not doing it right. You know, we don't have the right form. So that was a really good point that you made. Thank you. Yes. Um, now, are you more likely to recommend 30 day breakaway because you've experienced it? Of course, I would definitely recommend it to everyone because of the flexibility that you can, um, um, how you call it, you can modify, especially to those who are looking to build endurance. So definitely, I think this program, anyone can do it. Okay, so you live in Florida where the weather is very nice, right? <laughs> Year round warm weather. How do you respond to people who live in cold weather climates and can't do the workouts outside? Well, they can still do the, the weight training that the program has. And she also added a cardio for a rainy day. In this case, it will be cardio for a cold day for cold weather like nowadays I know that up north is getting cold so they can do the cardio and also do the weight training it's, it's, it's the complete workout and there is no excuse if you really want to complete it from the beginning to the end okay so before 30 day breakaway you had a system for bringing new coaches new customers into your team or into a group and how did you start them with a fitness program can you talk about what program you start and why sure um as you know uh sandy and many of, of the people that follows me uh, we run our business in spanish 100 percent in spanish and the best way to start um, our group, our, our clients is using Mes de Mas because Mes de Mas is the program that is completely in Spanish and my audience, they speak Spanish and this is a, this is a program that someone that is a beginner or an advanced can do and improve themselves from there and at the same time, they get used to listening to Idalis and bef before they even complete Mes de Mas and get and, and be able to graduate to an, another program, which is now 30 Day Breakaway, which continues in Spanish. And, and that is, we've been doing that since Mess and Mass came out. We've been starting everyone in our group with that program because it's like everything I do is in Spanish. And of course, now I'm doing this in English, but everything I do is in Spanish. So the people that we serve, our audience that we serve, they speak Spanish and a lot of them, they speak English, but when they get started, I want them to get the entire experience in the language that they found me. <laughs> I don't want them to have any surprise. And then also later on, they'll get used to the, 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 the ecosystem that we have, the beach body on demand, the nutrition. Um, it, a, lot of, a lot of them, they're, they're still in English, but they can get familiar with the system that we use and then they can graduate to another program, to a new program that, that, that comes out. So getting them started with the, with the program that speaks their language, every, the book comes in Spanish, is, it has become easier for us to get them started properly and being able to help them to be successful and get a transformation. Okay, so what do you think is the biggest challenge with new customers when starting out a new program? And how do you solve for that? Hi, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest challenge is for a new customer is to be patient, is to be patient with themselves and understand that 
um, they cannot get res the results in the blink of an eye. They have to learn the nutrition little by little. The workout, to be honest, not even myself, when I start a new program, I, I don't do it 100% even till today. So I gotta be patient even with myself when I start a new program. Imagine someone that has never done a workout or have done something and, but don't have instruction, specific workout, specific nutrition, supplementation. They don't know those things. So they, they gotta be patient. And this is something that I make sure that I mentioned at the very beginning um, of their journey because they, can, they won't do everything 100%. <laughs> They're new. So, and then to me as a coach, I also have, throughout the years, I have to learn to be patient with myself because sometimes you're helping new, new customers and you expect them to give you a transformation within 30 days. Hello, they won't be able to do it 100%. Some of them, they won't be able to give you a transformation within 60 days. So I have to come to the basics and think as a new challenger and think, and think when I got started and even think when I get started with a new program, I don't know at all. I have to learn a little by little the movement, the nutrition, and patient, I think, is key, especially nowadays where we when we have to learn how to pivot every single day, most likely. We have to learn how to how to navigate with the new customers through the system. Some some of them never use an application. Imagine, oh, you need to out download. Um, Beach Body on the Man on your phone. And they're like, what was Beach Body on the Man? <laughs> so you gotta explain it to them. And also uh, how to navigate through the workout using um, Beach Body on the Man, the materials, where to get them. And also um, uh, the back group, that's another thing too. So it's just being patient with them, with being patient with them and teaching them being patient with themselves so that they won't give up. And I do mention, give yourself a one year one year because it took me that time to create a healthy lifestyle and that's pretty much what i focus on telling them when they get started well for me that was golden okay because we forget we forget the patience is very important and um every time somebody comes who is new they just may not know our acronyms they may not know you know, the speak. I mean, sometimes on the wake up call, we say SC10, SC5, and new coaches are like, what's SC? <laughs> Success club, folks. Um, I appreciate you talking about patience, and it goes both ways. The patience of the upline coach um, to wait patiently when the results come and meet them where they are, and then the, the patience for a new challenger to be patient. It, you know, as you work on it, the results will come. So you mentioned that you have five expectations for people when they start. Do you remember what those are? <laughs> five, you can enter your five steps, what you expect of new people when they come on board. Well, what I, first of all, like I mentioned, be patient with the, with the process, uh, follow the nutrition guide is already there using, I always use, like to recommend the containers because I find that it's kind of easier <laughs> color coded and um, uh, start your program and finish it. And communication is one of the things that I, that is one of my expectations, uh, communication, open communication so that I know what they need. I don't read their mind. So I don't know what's going on. They have to communicate so that I can guide them through whatever's whatever they're going through and and so that they can continue with their journey and then when they're done with a program i also want them to make sure that they take the transfer their before and after the before picture they got to take it mm -hmm. and then the after picture after photo and once they do i tell them to submit to the beach body challenge and so that they can get their free gift that they get and also to <laughs> register the transformation because Beachbody has the, 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 um, 
the contest that they the do. Contest. Well, yeah. that was actually my next question because you and I spoke about this last year when you learned that um, you were ranking up there as one of the top sponsors of the Beachbody Challenge contest, which means that you get a lot of people to submit their results to the Beachbody Challenge contest. So talk about how that all came about and how that's changed for you when you help people get into a program. Yeah, definitely. I, it was one time, and I know that I shared this with you, I was sitting at Coach Summit and I heard Ashley Molston, she was, um, we recognized for being the number one um, transformation. Um, her customer was submitting the transformation. So I, something caught my attention. I was like, out of everything that I do as a coach, that is the only thing that, I, that I'm missing. No, well, not the only thing, but that was one of the things that I was missing. And I was like, oh, I haven't asked my customers, my challengers to submit the transformation. And I started implementing that uh, to my, so, my surprise. Um, I people were very, very receptive and they were submitting the transformation. And I was like, let's do this. For a couple of things, but the main thing it was, I want to I wanted to make sure that as soon as they finish their program and submitting their pictures, that they get their gift and that they feel accomplished, uh, and they take their pictures when they get the shirt that Beachbody sent them, and then also I wanted to keep track of the people that we help to transform their life, and that's that's one another reason. And also, I want Beachbody to know, and I know Cardiacle is going to come on this, this call later on, but I, want, I, t I tell them, I want to show that us Latinos are doing the work and becoming product of the product. Even if you're a customer, even if you're a coach and you're getting started, I want them to know that we're taking serious, serious the material that they're putting out there in our, our language so that they can continue providing more tools for us to continue helping more people to change their life. So to me, it's like you're done with the program, send it to me. This is what you got to do next, submit it to Beachbody Challenge. And, and from there on, it hasn't stopped and they continue submitting the transformation. I really, you know, it, it, this is something that they become proud of the product, but they also feel more confident. Uh, uh, the confidence level go up. Um, they also learn how to um, live a healthy lifestyle and involve their family. It's not only them, but also their family. And it's a big satisfaction as a coach to see someone transforming their life physically and mentally. So to me, that is very um, important as a coach. It's not only ch selling a challenge pack, but also seeing transformation happening in your team. They become proud of the product they involve their family. And then later on, people start asking, yeah. what do you think is gonna happen? They have the opportunity to help other people also to get healthy, just like I did. I love that. You make it sound very, very simple. And it's a system that has worked for you and it's really going back to basics. And I love, love, love that. Okay, we're at the end of the call for you and everybody stick around because Carl's coming on. But tell me, nine years ago, nine years have gone by, and that woman nine years ago that came to Beachbody with a whole bunch of things that you wanted to work on, where are you today? Well, since I became a coach, a lot, a lot of things have happened. Um, I, initially, uh, I, I initially started changing my life because I had those health issues. But then I saw the opportunity to help other people to 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 feel better and to be healthy. But there was a coaching opportunity. Um, I was working outside of my house as a, as a banker for seven years, two kids, my husband in the military. There was, there was no time to spend time with my family, with my husband, and even for myself. They spent time changing myself and dedicating time for my self-care. So, when I saw the coaching opportunity, and, and this is something I didn't mention to you, Sandy, when we talked, um, I was a little bit hesitant with the type of business that we are in with network marketing. I was uh, skeptical, to be honest, because we tried other things in the past. And I was very skeptical to do 
a, to get involved with a business like this. But then I fell in love with the community, with the system, with the products and, and the support that Beachbody offers. And to me, it was like, I am product of the product. I can help others. And I didn't even think about that this was a network marketing business. I didn't care that, about that part. All I care was if I can use this tool and this opportunity to help others change their life and being able to make money and leave my job so that I can become a full-time mom and be with, my, be with my kids while my husband finished his career in the military, I will do it. And I started working the business day in and day out. It's been nine years. Maybe you're listening to me right now and you'll be like, I, Evie, it's easy for you. No, let me tell you, even today, I have to go through a lot of challenges. Even today, we still have to be pivoted all the time and, and evolving all the time. And at the beginning, it wasn't easy. So you... As, as long as you stick around and you be patient with yourself and the vision that you have, you will accomplish every dream. Because if I would have give up at the time that I wanted to give up at one point, I wouldn't be able to leave my job, being here with my kids and my husband, when he retired after serving for 21 years in the military, he wouldn't be able to work from home. We work together, we are husband and, and, and wife together. Uh, we're full-time parents. And I told my son the other day, and I don't want to cry because I always cry at the end of these calls. But if I cry, who cares? It's me. <laughs> I, told, I told my son, we were sitting um, and we were having dinner. It was a Friday night and we were having dinner. And my son was talking to us. My son now is 17. He was eight when I got started. And my daughter was three. She's about to be 13 when I got started. And I told my son, I said, you know what? Due to everything that is going on in the world right now, everything that we have gone, what we have, we have been through in this business and what we have accomplished, it was for such, such time like this. Because I would have been at the bank working if I wouldn't believe in my dreams, if I wouldn't believe in the coaching opportunity, if I wouldn't guayar la yuca, like I always say, like work hard. Um, my husband wouldn't be able to retire. He probably would have been in the military, me outside of the, the house, and who else, who, who knows who would have been taking care of my kids. We've been able to pay off our debt. Which body don't guarantee any level of income, I have to say that. We've been able to pay off all of our debt. Uh, being able to buy our own home uh, and have the freedom and the time that we always wanted it as a family. And not only that, being able to help other people fulfill um, their dreams, their goals. And we have not done this. We're a 15-star team. We did not do this on our own. We did it because our team, everyone in the team. So right now, if we just focus on how can we help others to fulfill their goals and how we can help others to have some sort of financial freedom with the opportunity that we have with Beachbody. So it's Evie, been a lot of things. <laughs> Evie, do you love what you do? Yes, it is part of my purpose. Well, that's how I started this call. If you don't love what you do, then the hard work is, is not going anywhere. And so you have worked really, really hard to get where you are. And I love that you took a moment to recognize it. And for new coaches who are watching right now, thinking nine years, I can't even imagine being in the same job nine years. When you like what you do and you do it with purpose and you serve, remember the best leaders are servant leaders. That is how it all comes together. And you can look back and say, I did this for you, or I did this for our family. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Evie. It's a pleasure always having you. Um, thank you, and I, now I wanna bring on Carl Deichler, our CEO. He's got a very fun message. Thank you, Carl, for hanging out. Of course, Sandy, thank you so uh, much. Wait, let's get you unmuted, though. Wait, I am unmuted. I'm unmuted. Okay, you're, you're fine now. Let me get okay. out of the way, and you wanna just close the call after this? Sure, um, I absolutely will. And thanks, Evie, for, uh, you know, 
it's always amazing to hear somebody who's been a coach uh, for nine years and still get emotional about it and still be passionate about it. So um, hopefully, Sandy, I'm, uh, you are frozen. So I'm hoping that I'm doing okay. I'll just keep talking. You um, are doing fine. Okay, great. <clears throat> so uh, I, I wanted to come on here because this is a really important day. And if you don't feel like you've got uh, the, the tingles all about you and the shivers, uh, then you're not tapped in. And I want you to be tapped in to what's happening right now. Um, quick story. And I'm, and I'm recording this. So I'm going to post this also to my Instagrams just in case, um, uh, just in case you want to maybe forward it. I think you can forward sto uh, Instagram story, Instagram TV. So, um, in 2017, I believe it was 2017, we were having a tough time as a company. Uh, we were uh, under attack by, uh, of all things, keto companies. Uh, don't hear much about them these days when people learn that deprivation doesn't work. Uh, we were under attack by wine companies who were uh, recruiting leaders saying you can make a lot money, more money faster selling wine. Um, I guess people forgot about the mission of the whole thing. Uh, but, uh, uh, and I remember actually getting called into my CFO's office who said, uh, Carl, I want to talk to you. You know, we've, we've struggled. 2017 has been difficult and we're going into 2018. And I'm a little concerned about the name in this new program, 80 day obsession. I mean, I love 21 day fix. I want to fix things. I don't know that I want to be obsessed about it. Um, maybe we're overshooting it with 80 day obsession and that uh, from a combination of a concept of real-time programming and a super trainer who is no nonsense, tells it like it is, gives you tough love and combines fitness, nutrition, and uh, a, a mental toughness to getting results uh, changed everything between 2017 and 2018. Any coaches who were around who remember how things took off with 80 day obsession, I hope you've shaken off any cobwebs that you've gotten. It always happens go, starting in September, October, and into November. As exciting as 30 day breakaway was for so many people, um, it was also a program specific to running. And now here comes nine week control freak. And you know how I know something's gonna be really big. And the same thing happened with 80 day obsession uh, that's happening right now. I actually, I cleared all my cookies in Google before I got on this and I typed into Google 9W. Can you see that there? I typed in 9W and uh, I get nine weeks pregnant, nine weeks ultrasound, nine weeks pregnant ultrasound and nine week control freak. That's the one, two, three, four. The fourth recommendation if you type into Google, 9W is a program that hasn't even launched yet, but its first look video has launched. So now I'm calling on you. I'm actually, I'm calling on your potential to get after it. And, and it's time now for the next like 45 days, it's going to be intense. And I want you to approach this launch differently than you've approached others. And if you're a new coach, I want you to approach this with the enthusiasm that you had that maybe you could really create something out of this, out of this business. Um, I want to see how loud you can be, how big we can be. You know, many of us are reading 10X by Grant Cardone. And part of the um, approach that he talks about is uh, not being competitive, but being dominant, being disciplined, consistent, and persistent about your action, um, about, about inviting people. And I know a lot of people approach social media with caution. I don't want to lose followers. I don't want to post too much. And you're going to see Beachbody is coming out of it, coming in Coming in hot, as they say, because we are getting the word out about nine-week control freak with the control track, with the core ball. Uh, you need a step and you need dumbbells. And what you need is a different mentality. This is about you and the people that you can help. This is about getting out of your comfort zone, trying something new, 
You know, I saw a, an article over the weekend uh, in the Wall Street Journal about the woman who sold uh, her mirror device to Lululemon. And uh, somebody said to me, you know, do, do you think that was smart that, uh, that she sold her company um, to Lululemon? And I was like, well, if I sold a mirror that was basically a TV screen, um, and, uh, but people still needed the content that, that we do, I would have absolutely sold my product if I was offered what Lululemon offered. And I feel the same thing about other equipment companies. Here we are for less than $200, you can get people started with the total solution. And I think it's amazing what Kevin mentioned. I, you know, I wasn't even actually aware of this, that for people who start now in uh, our new customer and first time seller promo, that they can get 30% off the nine week control freak accessories bundle. If they start this week, you're going to get a promo code for 30% off, but they have to be co-admin co -admin of an active bod group at some point during the same time period in order to qualify. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, and, and I want to get out of your way and I want to let you start inviting during this really exciting time, this very exciting kickoff period is I'm going to be looking for you. I'm going to be combing social media a little bit every day. And I'm going to, let's, let's call this, um, hmm, what should we call it? Let's call it the $10,000 BOD group challenge, just for fun, okay? I'm going to be giving away $10,000. I've got my starter kit. I have my envelopes and I've got my personal note paper. I'm going to be looking for at least 10 people a day between now and December 8th. Okay, so that gives me eight ish days, nine days or so. Um, and I'm going to be giving away $10,000. I'm going to give one $1,000 grand prize from among those. 10 uh, from those $100 winners. So I'll be picking people to win $100 on a personalized note who start a BOD group for nine week control freak in the next week and a couple of days. So through the end of the day, December 8th. So I'll announce the final winner. I'll announce the $1,000 winner on December 9th. Okay. This is just me. This is just me doing it. I'm just sending out hundred dollar bills because I want to, and why would I do that? Why would I do that with my, my own money, right? Um, it's because this is about waking up the national wake up call, waking up the network. Here comes, all these people are gonna be making new year's resolution. And we are literally proactively going to be telling people this year, do not make a New Year's resolution this year. This is no resolution 2021. Autumn's going to be taking the lead on this. We're going to be announcing it on all our social uh, platforms. We're going to be having on national TV, uh, getting people involved, brands involved, because we want to stop this yo-yo dieting problem where people for two weeks, starting January 1st, go on some crazy deprivation diet, and then they go the, they, they overcorrect, they hate themselves for two weeks, and then they fall off it anyway, because all the same issues that got them in the predicament that they were in already uh, fall to the waist, come back, and after two weeks, they end up quitting. In fact, they even have a day, I think it's January 17th of quit your resolution day. So we are calling off New Year's resolution, but all these people surrounding you who are right now searching for nine week control freak or searching for fitness or searching for weight loss, they need to know about you. And that's why I wanted to get on the call today because I want them to make sure they know about you. I want you to be posting throughout the day. Make it your mission to make sure that people know about you. I want you to dominate. That's what 10X is about. 10X is not just about competition. What are they doing over there? What is, that, what is she doing over there? What's he doing over there? This is about you being so visible and so visceral about what you're doing to, to get people, invite people in your nine-week control we in your nine week control free group that it is undeniable that you're not going to go away. You know, Grant Cardone says in his book, you need to burn your fire so hard, hot that people want to 
come around your campfire and warm themselves to it. They want to bask in the glow of this thing that you're doing, which is so exciting. They want to see your enthusiasm, but you need to do it. You need to find a way, find things to talk about. Go to that first look video on Beachbody On Demand and really understand what Nine Week Control Freak is about. Comb through Autumn's posts on her uh, Instagram. Comb through all the posts that Beachbody puts up. Comb through the blog post about Nine Week Control Freak or make sure that you're looking at the training that Kevin talked about and, and Kim put up on uh, Team Beachbody 411 and on the Champions page. Learn Nine Week Control Freak and post and post and repost those before and afters and show me that you're starting a nine week control freak group. We've just got all these beautiful banners that you can, you're gonna make your group gorgeous and get 10 people in there, get 15 people in there, get 20 people in there to start when this goes on sale December 7th. I'm gonna be looking for, okay, here's how you uh, qualify. You start a bod group for nine week control freak, hashtag it, hashtag control freak. Okay, that's what I'll be looking for, hashtag Control freak, hashtag contest at Carl Deichler. That's how I'm going to be able to find you. And I'm going to be paying, like I go through, you know, all the different ways that I can find posts and I'm going to be looking for you. I'll be announcing maybe the first one as soon as I get off of this call or as soon as I get off my first work call. But the point is you need to be loud about this. You need to get your team to be loud about this. Don't be a wallflower. Don't think that two posts a day on this massive thing called the internet are going to get you noticed. You need to get noticed for doing this. You need to see what this equipment is about. Watch the first look video. You need to understand that right now is not when you just get prepared. Right now is when you start inviting. We have been getting prepared for two weeks. Boxes of nine-week control freak uh, challenge packs in every configuration, stacked to the ceiling of the warehouse, ready to go out as soon as we get the order starting December 7th, and then ready for the December 21st launch uh, for customers. So I want you to be teed up and ready to go. So I'm going to be passing these out. I'll be as soon as I pick the winner and I get your address and uh, I can send it out. I'm going to send you a personal note, send you $100. But then one person, what I'll do is that one person that I pick, I'll circle back and I'm gonna send you the balance of $1,000. So you get, I'll send you that final $900. So you get that $1,000 winners. This is the time for you to take action. Just like we saw happen with 21 Day Fix, it blew up huge when it first came out. Um, and just like we saw with 80 Day Obsession, huge when it came out. And now here's Nine Week Control Freak. This is an opportunity for you. Do not squander the opportunity. Now is the time for you to invite and be visible and promote, promote, promote. Make sure people know that you represent this program. They won't know it unless you tell them, okay? So let's do this. Let's get out there and let's have a great week. I'm going to close this down and we're going to get to work. I'll be online. I'll be looking for you. Hashtag control freak, hashtag contest at Carl Deichler. Let's get after this and let's have a great week. Thank you all for being great coaches and for great being great part of this mission to help people achieve their goals and lead healthy, fulfilling lives. Don't let them set New Year's resolutions. Their choices to be great, to be healthy, to be happy, and to avoid the diet mentality starts now. We need to get the word out. Let's do it.